Hi everyone, welcome back to the Canny Tally. Well, we didn't quite make it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the previous video and you'll see. Off you call me ballot, I'll just tell you. So basically we thought we might have just scraped to the end of the month without having to dip into savings. And I've just sat and done, it's Thursday night and um, the end of our budget week, which is week three. It's a kind of a five week month-ish, this one for us. Um, we're not going to do it. So basically what we've got, so I've got 112.30 in the bank. I've had to transfer £26 from my Monzo savings pot, which is the like the roundup I do each week. Um, so that's give her £138.30 in the bank. The bills due are £138. So it's going to leave her with 30 pence, maybe maybe 40 odd pence, give or take, as a roundup. In cash left over, I've already added all this up. Um, is £85.66. That was what was budgeted for this week and what was left over from last week in the cash that was sitting in the wallets. Um, that's definitely not enough. So the total rollover and income for the rest of the month, so we've got another 10 days before we get paid, is £223.96. Now that includes, we need the bills coming off that. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So as I say, I've got the money in the bank sitting for the bills, so I haven't got to worry about those. That's now sorted out. It's just the cash I have to concentrate on. So as I say, we've got £85.66. I don't really need to count this, but 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and the rest is in coins here. I'll not make loads of noise counting all that up. I've told you what it is, and it is. So let's see what we can do with this. I'll just pop that to one side a sec. Um, wait, I'll have a little drink to eat. Oh, it's going to be hot actually. Oh, that is hot. I've just made it. That was silly. Anyway, um, right. So this is week three all done. I'll not bore you with all the scribbles. Week four, which is tomorrow. For the full week so the 15th to the 29th i don't know if this is in shot or not um and then week five which is about a few days three days on week five so that's not too bad so let's see what we've got so 223 pound 96 these are the bills coming out leaves us with 89 pound 96 pence now first things first you might think I'm crazy, I don't really care. Um, the ice cream pot is empty. If my little one is sort of, he's been tested for ADHD whenever the waiting list goes. He's been on about two years already. Anyway, um, if he doesn't get his ice cream, he would not understand why he can't. He would have a full-blown flip and a meltdown. He will scream the place down and it's not in a spoilt way why he can't get it. He just does not understand the reasoning behind something. Anyway, £2 going in. That ice cream stand comes around once a week. It might die off a little bit now and uh, the nights are cutting in, which is great. Gets them in from playing quicker. Because um, now when the street lights start coming on, it's like, yep, you definitely need to be in now. So we're putting two, I've already marked that down, two pound in uh, the miscellaneous sinking funds, which is just basically the ice cream pot. Um, I don't count up the change and whatever. I normally just let it run until there's nothing left or just top it up each week, two pound. Um, as, I ha as it happened, it was just completely gone, this one. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, let's get this done. So I need to put 10 pound of petrol in. We're nearly empty. Um, it's done with good. We went a little bit further this week. That's why we've used it. But the £20 I put in has lasted quite well. Um, I think £10 might do with the week. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm going to pop £10 in petrol. Um, home, I'm going to put another... Actually, you know what? I've got £10 down for home. I might not put anything in that because... Oh, well, I put a fiver. Hmm... Mm -mm -mm. I'm 
trying to think what I've got. I went to Home Bargains the other day and I completely went over the home budget, but we had ran out with loads of stuff we needed. So we need washing powder for the clothes, fabric softener, we needed bleach, we needed hand soap, we needed toothpaste, and um, we needed toilet rolls. Um, what else did we need? I had to get some sinkum blocker for the bathroom plugs. Um, some floor cleaning stuff. It was nearly all cleaning stuff, honestly. Um, can't remember anyway, but it's fifty odd pound on home stuff. So I'm gonna just put five in just in case something crops up that we do need that I haven't thought about for the house. But most of it, I think, is all right. So. Sorry, I'm yawning again. <laughs> Five powder there. Alcohol, zilch. Not even any personal spends this week. We are down to nothing. Um, pets, I'm going to put five in. We managed to get the dog food. We've got one bag of it, the big bag. Um, I popped in after work one day through the week. Uh, it's 10 99 for the great big 15 kilo bag. So I grabbed one of them. Um, normally we get about three bags in one go, but I was on my own. That's all I can carry. I think that's all I had actually to be honest on the shelves um so that'll do the dogs anyway for the next few weeks I'm going to put five in because the cat food's low I've noticed when I fed him tonight so he'll not last another full week with what he's got so he's going to need some cat food so I'll pop that in there so that's pets um school money is getting I was going to see what was for school dinners but I haven't hmm. I'm going to put it in change. So school dinners is £2.60 per time. Um, so £2.50, £2.20. So I'm going to put two days in because there's two days he likes school dinners, I think. Or is that three days? I'll put two days in. I can always top it up if I need to. In fact, no, I need, I need to put the three days in. Right, 216, 260. So that's two days of school dinners. I'm going to pop another one in. Um, two pound, let's see if we've got it. 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, come on. Right, okay. Three pound. Right, so oh, it'd be easy if I just worked it out like this, wouldn't it? So 260 times three. Is 780. I might be able to change this up actually. Hang on. I'll do all that again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused myself here. Um, if you stick with us in this video, I am going to be emptying some of my sinking funds, not my sinking funds, my savings challenges. Um, so just bear with us a couple of minutes while I do this, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. 20, 40. Okay, we'll not do that bit. We'll do 50, 60, 70, 80. £7.80 there for school dinners. So that's three lots of school dinners. So that'll be tomorrow, which is Friday, and then two the following week. So that's sorted for that. Nothing's going in charity this week. Um, unfortunately, charity begins at home. So we'll have to do that this week. So I'm staying out of the charity shops. <laughs> um, miscellaneous. I'm going to put five in and um, just never know what's going to crop up or when or how. So that's in there. No personal spends this week. Um, not even the kiddies. Um, they've got their pocket money sitting there anyway that they've got saved up. So it's not that they're going without such. Um, they don't ask for it anyway. They, they don't really even know I put it aside half the time. Anyway, I shouldn't have to justify it. I'm not. I'm not justifying it. We're cutting back and that's just it. Right. So. I haven't done food yet. Um, I'm putting 780 in school. Right. Last week I managed to get the food budget. I think if I wrote everything down anyway. To £103. So it only went over £3. And. Um, cannot get it under £100. I probably could if I did a lot of batch cooking and things like that but because I'm working full-time now and I'm not used to it, I haven't worked full-time since I was 19 years old. Um, my hubby is 
getting on his feet, which is great. Um, but he's been brilliant, tidying up the house and stuff and hobbling around. He's really sore, but he's been managing. It's been lovely. Um, but I don't want to put on to him and start making him cook as well. He makes me lunches and he makes the little ones breakfast and things like that. Um, so there's kind of easy foods I'm making at the minute. Um, plenty of stir fries, things like that, stretching the food out. So I think £100 is just realistic for our food budget. Um, right. Let's see what we've got left in here. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Right, there's £50, so we'll definitely need at least another £50. You know what, I might put this in my little change pot. I'm not even going to bother counting this change up. Oh, I can't even pick it up, man. Come on. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. I will count it. Hang on. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86 pence. I'm just going to stick in my purse for loose change. Um... I've been using this out and about, it's great. Um, I can't show you at the minute my phone because I'm recording on my phone, but I actually put my phone in here and it fits perfect. Um, it's an Android, it's one of them, um, hmm, is it a Xiaomi? I think it's a Xiaomi. I'm trying to read the back of it, but I can't really see. No, it's not, it's an Honor. <laughs> it's an Honor phone, my old one with a Xiaomi. So it does fit in there. So anyone with an iPhone or an Android, your phones should fit inside there and you can still zip it up, which even with your envelopes, which is great. Right, so the loose change has just gone in there. Right, I'm going to do £50. There's £50 there for the food budget. So I need another £50. So where are we going to take this from? Let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, there's money and roll it up. Nothing in Scouse Girls. Mine sweep. I'm not going to mark that one off. I'm going to leave mine sweep in. Plan it out. What's that? Five. Mm, say £40 in that one. What we've got in there? Five, ten, fifteen. No, hang on. Ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five in that one. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. Um, the kids' ones, that's debt money. I'll not take it out of debt money. I'm going to take it out of New Dawn, New Day by Grounded Budgets. I started this all in one go. It was just the way the little dice games went. And yeah, I'll leave that in. I'll wipe that off when I'm later on off camera. So 10, 20, 30. There's £40 there. Um, I'm going to take five out of Planet Out. So that's 45. And I'm going to take five out of Roll It Up. So there's 50, right? I'm just going to have to scribble this down so I know where I've taken it from. Right, so five from Roll It Up. I took five from Plan It Out. And I took 40 from New Dawn. Right. And then I can keep me trackers and stuff right later on. So let's have a look. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Right, that is going to go straight in the food envelope. I'm going to put it straight in my Saffiano. So I never thought I'd hear the day I said that. <laughs> but I'm going to put it straight in here. And um, because, as I say at the minute, it is only me doing the food shopping. So I don't need to put it in a general envelope for everybody to get a hold of. Um, I'll pop that in there. So I've actually got, what did I say? 86 pence. So £100 and 86 pence. Um. So, I'm going to actually write that 86 pence in just to keep it right. So, £100 and 86 pence in food. As Tesco says, every little helps. Right, I'm not predicting anything for the challenges this week because I need everything I can get. And then, flipping over, nothing else going in signal funds at all. The following week. 
so it's just the last three days um from the 29th so 29th sorry 29th that's because i'm reading both numbers 22nd of the 9th so 22nd 23rd and 24th so three days there's just one bill coming out it's just a four pound one but that's already covered with the money i told you about there's my daughter just sneaking in hang on two seconds she's so tired apparently yeah so mad. <laughs> um i haven't but i've only budgeted not even charity miscellaneous and school i'm going to change school to 260 because of, with it only being three days it'll only be one of those days probably where i'll stay for lunches oh, this pen's run out there we go so five six seven sixty i am probably going to need some food in those three days so probably 30 pound 10 pound a day I know it sounds a lot, but it's not as if we use £10 a day, but when you have to buy things that maybe last a couple of weeks, but you need them at that time, it bumps your cost up, but then drops it down the following week. Mm. Or will I say 25 Um, I'll say 25 We'll cut it right back as much as we can. So I need to get £25 from... I'll put from other... And this is going to come from savings. So we'll go back in the savings binder and let's see what we've got. I think we might go back to roll it up. Um, what's this one? No, in fact, I'm going to leave rolled up. We'll take it out with this one because it was nearly finished anyway. I only had five more pounds to put in. So there's 35 in there. So I'll take 25 out. So 20... One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that is for week five. I'm going to stick this just so I don't forget into week five here. Um, just to keep it separate from this week. Otherwise, if I put it in the purse for this week, it'll get spent this week. So I'm going to try and keep that side if I can for that one. As I say, I do have the savings there to go into luckily if i need to now we might have had some good news with husband's pay um selena miss budgets give us a tip to contact um universal credits or pip or whatever they are anyway um so my husband's been on the phone to um citizens advice we've got an appointment next monday um or the monday after i can't remember anyway we've got an appointment and the forms to fill in and things like that we should be entitled to something even if it's just a small amount to help us along the way um he's had some good news on his pay today from the union the unions managed to negotiate a pay rise um and that pay rise is going to get backdated to april and um, so that's six months worth of backdated pay rise they're going to be getting so i don't know if that'll come in his sick pay or if it'll come when he's back at work i don't know how it works but at some point that is a positive thing and for all we have <laughs> absolutely nothing at the minute um well, I've got to think positive, you know, I have landed myself a, a good job. I have got money coming in um, at the end of the month. My husband is getting something. It's better than nothing. There is people out there who've got nothing. So you do just have to keep positive. You have to just think good about everything and it'll all work out. Anyway, that's my video for tonight. Um, I might have to do another one in a few days if an unexpected bill comes up or we'll have to pay you know what the kids like when they're back at school it's like suddenly the letters start coming in for school trips and equipment and whatever else um oh throw me pen away but if anything unexpected comes out i'll do a little video we'll take it out the savings um challenges and i'm going to update all them totals off camera and then i'll go through it with you again on another video once i'm all sorted um so that's all for now so thank you very much for joining me and catch us all later Bye.